Alright, so this is going to be scap series one. Alright, there's three exercises here. We're going to go over all of them. Dan's going to help me out. The first one is the back on wall shoulder extension. So what you're going to do, if you notice in the back, I cannot get my hand behind Dan's back. Okay, so his lower back is flat against the wall. Alright, you'll also notice that the back of his head is against the wall as well. He's tucking his chin down a little bit, just like that. All he's going to do, all right, if you have a problem keeping this position, all you got to do is walk your feet out a little farther from the wall. It might be a little, little comfortable for you, okay? Now, so keeping that position right there, all he's going to do, keeping his thumbs pointed, pointed forward, he's going to raise his arm up, thumbs go to the wall. All the way to the wall as far as he can. Nice control, then back down. Do two more. Notice his, the back of his head doesn't come off, and his lower back stays right on there. He's driving it to the wall, okay? Good. Next one is the forearm wall slide. What are you gonna do? And if you can come back around here real quick. All right, he's gonna start with a staggered stance with his feet. All right, his forearms are gonna be on the wall, thumbs pointed out. When he does this, I want him to imagine pressing his, pressing his forearms all the way up the wall. It's not just raising, the, raising his arms up. All right, now what I wanna think about doing right here is making this scap move the right way. So as he presses his arms up, go real quick. As he presses his arms up, I wanna think about wrapping that scap almost down and underneath his armpit right there. Now he gets to the top, he's gonna retract off the wall with his upper traps right there. Good, do three more. Scaps wrap around, retracts off the wall, back to the wall, back down. Good. Okay, good. Turn around, last one for scap series one is gonna be the wall W. Okay, so this time he can have a little gap in his, uh, in his lower back, actually, so I want to have to turn this way real quick, okay? As he comes down, put your arms up like you're about to do it, all right? As he brings his arms down, all right, I want to feel him contracting with that lower trap right there that's right below that scapula and almost bringing the points of his scaps together at the bottom like that, all right? If you look from the side, do that one more time, that bottom position. If you look from the side, this is also a similar, similar position we have in that bracing uh, before we do that bench press, right? So, back against the wall again. Remember, if you can't keep that position, you can walk your feet out a little bit. All right, this time, I don't mind if he has a little gap in that lower back. He's allowed to do that this time. Go ahead. Good, contraction of that lower trap, back up. Good.